Hello and welcome back to Voyage of a Time Wonder. Today I am doing a bookshelf build with me and a reorganization of my books. So I'm quite excited because I was recently able to go to Ikea and I picked up a new half-size Billy bookcase for my little like library wall here. Um, so it's going to be replacing, I have this like half-size here my full-size Billy and then on this side I just had this little mini one so I've got another half size this size that's going to take the place over here so I am quite excited to have a bit more space because I have stacks of books everywhere <laughs> and I needed a little bit more bookshelf space so I'm going to be building my new Billy bookcase and then reshuffling all my books so my plan is uh, I had two of these like little mini half size. You can see there's one of the stacks of books that needs to be rehomed. And then if I uh, come around over here, there's the other stacks over there. So, so I am definitely in need of some more bookcase space. And I actually have two of these little half size. I, one used to be on the wall beside our TV stand. And I have moved it over beside the uh, piano and you can see I have to um, reorganize, repack those books and then I'm planning to move my book cart and put the other uh, mini Billy on the other side of the piano so they kind of match. So that is my plan and uh, I will get started building my bookcase. <laughs> So the bookshelf base is done. So now I need to empty out that bookcase, <laughs> that bookcase there. I need to empty it out and move it so I can slide this one in and then make sure the shelves are arranged at the right height so that just like with this one, it kind of forms one continuous long shelf. So that is my next move here. <laughs> I have my new bookshelf in place and then over by the piano I have this like matching pair now so I think that looks really nice and I don't know if I'm gonna leave my book cart there or what so my plan is one of the mini bookcases was already holding all my genealogy books and so I'm gonna just keep that the same and then the other bookshelf I think I'm gonna put like my theology faith books on and remove those from my book cart and then have a little bit more space in my book cart and then this new one is going to be uh, mostly fiction, although I think I'm going to move my African nonfiction, which is this middle shelf right now, move that to the bottom of this one to kind of match uh, better so that I have two shelves, two full rows across of my fiction. So now my next job is to uh, reshelve all of this stuff and uh, figure out kind of the order that I want everything to go in. So this bookshelf is done. I just have to find what I want to put on top of that because it's my genealogy shelf. I'll probably get some old family photos like I have there and frame them. So my top shelf here is my Norwegian and Scottish shelves. 
and I do sadly have to double up, so some books are hidden. I start with kind of generic European genetic genealogy, and then I have some of my Norwegian books. These are kind of bridging between Norway and Scotland, these two, because they're about when Norway and the Vikings were uh, colonizing Scotland. Then I have my Hebridean books, my Isle of Harris books, and then it kind of merges into Scottish people in uh, North America. And then down here we have my Canadian history and Dutch history. So we have different um, books, like local history books, about uh, Manitoba and Saskatchewan, where my family was from, as well as some like self-published uh, family genealogies, and then some BC family history books, some self-published genealogies from my Dutch family, and then some history books about the town that I have roots in, which is Andyke, and then some kind of generic Dutch history books, and some kind of general, like this is a Dutch language book, and yeah, kind of Dutch style book. And then down at the bottom here, I have my European slash Victorian uh, English family history, which is um, kind of a bit more generic, except for this book, which I do have a full review on. I have some books about kind of what it was like in Victorian England, as well as some basic um, English history books. So, The Monarchs of England, The World. Um, this book I'm really looking forward to, The Year of Lear, Shakespeare in 1606. So that is my genealogy shelf all reorganized. And now I'm going to take uh, this bookshelf and try to get my theology books, which are primarily in the bottom part of this trolley, uh, organized into here and get that pile stacked away. <music> I think I'm done reorganizing this. I might come back and try to put a uh, kind of more genre order to it, but roughly I have like saints, saint biographies, devotionals, apologetics, church history, liturgical living, and then a Scott Hahn shelf. <laughs> so that cleared off the bottom of my book cart. So now I get to figure out what I want to do with that. And I just realized I have more fiction up here that I haven't um, moved over into my new shelves. So I have a shelf and a half still to fill and this stack um, I need to first go into Goodreads and add everything into my uh, physical TBR shelf. So that's my next step. So I am done. I have reorganized all of my fiction books on those like two big shelves all the way across and I'm really excited because as you can see I have a little bit of space here to grow. There's actually some empty space on my bookcase for the first time in a long time. And I also have uh, these two bookshelves sorted out and organized and that actually cleared up two shelves in my book cart. So, that is awesome. I have a bit more space and I'm really happy with how it looks on this wall. I think having the two of the same size flanking the tall billy really uh, matches well and looks really good. So I am very happy with my uh, Sunday book organization project and until next time, enjoy wandering through the pages of a good book. Bye.